Yo, what is up? It is Weabra, and I am back with another manga haul. I hope you guys are doing well. This manga haul, I'm going to be doing it in classic mode, which is kind of the old way that I used to do it because there is a lot of stuff that I got and I'm going to have to be keeping it brief and needing to get through this series a lot quicker. Let me know in the comments which style you prefer. If you guys like more on camera mixed with shots like this, or if you guys just want something that's a little bit more brief, getting through the different pickups, stuff like that just like in this video let me know but without further ado let's get started on the haul okay so we are going to start off with some retail stuff which is probably like 10 percent of this haul uh, anyways let's get let's get down to it so there was a sale on amazon where it's like you buy two get one free or something like that there was not a lot to choose from but i did find sakamoto days volume two even though i don't have volume one but i also found toilet bound hanako kun volumes one and two which you know i've heard a lot of great things about in the community and honestly the art style is what kind of got me to purchase it and yeah it's fantastic i honestly enjoyed it a lot i can definitely see why people love this manga it's honestly adorable and it's got great action in it sakamoto days i still need to get volume one um yeah i just got it because it was like the best next thing that i could get in the sale anyways yeah super stoked about these Totally about Hanako kun I definitely recommend it. And I also picked up a couple of volumes of Blue Period that I was missing from Target with the 20% off plus 5% off with the red card discount. Definitely recommend Target if they have stuff that you are looking for. Blue Period, there's been some like political stuff that has been going on with the mangaka that apparently they were doing some uh, some questionable type of uh, erotic manga regarding uh, little boys apparently. But you know what? I'm not even going to get into that. I'm still going to get the manga and just kind of take it for what it is. Of course, I got the Tokyo Revengers Barnes & Noble exclusive. I had it pre-ordered. And there is a situation going on with the Tokyo Revengers release that I'm probably going to make a video about. Just because it's like, it's so weird. And it's honestly, the fact that Seven Seas hasn't mentioned anything about it is, is very, very weird. Like this edition here is, you know, it's got the colored pages. Obviously, it's the Barnes & Noble exclusive. So it has a poster and stuff but the paper is i'm telling you among the worst kind very thin and it has like a little bit of transparency issue this is really bad and the thing is is whatever you know sometimes you got to use whatever you got but some releases some volumes out there in the wild have the very nice white uh, high quality paper it's thinner which is usually what you get with white paper and it's just weird that they're just kind of like not saying anything and it's just rng based off of what you find out there it's it's definitely weird anyways i'm not gonna get too into it we got a lot to get through here then i got volume one of yo mushy pedal finally dude you got some yo mush i have been enjoying the absolute hell out of it i can see why people love this it's freaking amazing it makes you want to go out there and get a bike and just start going up hills and, and all this stuff it's it's a lot of fun i definitely recommend it i hopefully i can get volume three somewhere yeah yo mushy pedal is fucking amazing i love it so much honestly naruko is such an awesome character there's it's 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 amazing it's good okay so that is pretty much it for retail stuff and uh let's get into some used stuff and then i'll get into french manga at the end there so i had i did find a ton of great stuff out in the wild and also online on amazon places like that so let's start off with the kind of given here iron walk down got volumes eight and nine on half price books for about like ten dollars each which is really really good um these are very nice condition happy to expand my collection definitely go check out iron walk down if you haven't if you've been watching this channel, you already know I'm all about it. And of course, continuing on with another rare set that is out of print, I got three volumes of Kendachi Case Files, which also I got for a great deal, like around $10 a piece, which is fantastic. And these are in pretty great condition. Um, now I have one through 10 straight, so I can continue reading this now without having to really worry about you know whether i'm gonna find the missing volume or not then i got love hina omnibus that i found i already have this but i cracked a spine and uh yeah apparently this is hard to find at the moment it, it goes for like about 40 50 dollars or something like that and yeah i found it for 10 bucks so i was like you know what? i'm gonna pick it up the only reason why i want to collect this is because i'm a huge fan of love hina akamatsu politics aside because there is uh, more political shit going on in the manga world especially with akamatsu i don't know you just gotta look into it but it is what it is you know i don't agree with him and i don't agree with what he's doing and all that but i love love hina it's very nostalgic for me anybody who has watched my first you know 
few videos and know how much I love Love Hina. So another great nostalgic series for me, Tenchi Muyo, which I have been collecting for a few months now. Um, these are kind of, I don't know, they're not super expensive, but some people try to sell it for expensive. I don't think it should be expensive. Yeah, I got very lucky with these at Book Off. I'm missing about four volumes, but Ritzy, a fellow subscriber and member of the server, also a very, very great friend, is going to help me get three and four. So then I only have two left, which is, I believe, six and eight. But yeah, Tenchi Muyo, classic harem. Huge harem fan. Definitely, definitely one of my dream sets. Then we got Fate Zero, volumes one through three. So I'm not really sure how hard these are to find, but I know there are a couple volumes in the incomplete set that is out by Dark Horse that are a little bit difficult to find. But nonetheless, I found one through three and I believe they were like $5. Yeah, five fifty, dollars uh, which is very, very nice. I absolutely love Fate Zero. It is so awesome. It's my favorite in the Fate uh, universe. Phase Zero is so fucking cool. Go watch it. I definitely am in the camp that say you should watch it first. Alexander is one of my favorite characters of all time. He's so dope and it's just full of great moments. It's peak. Okay, so speaking of rare fate stuff, I had no idea what this was, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, this is Type Moon. I looked it up and apparently these kind of go for around, I don't know, like $60 because anything Type Moon He's got the Type Moon tax. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, this is volume two, I believe. There's like four or seven volumes or something. I don't know. It's a mess. But yeah, you know, it was one of those things. I'm a fan of Fate and Type Moon in general and was very intrigued to find it and very lucky to find it, I guess. But uh, yeah, there's some like damage on the back here, but who cares? Let me show you another insane find. This is probably one of the crazier finds. For sure, one of the crazier finds from July. It is... Evangelion singles two through seven. I forget how many volumes it is, but yeah, I found these and you know, honestly, I was pretty conflicted because I do plan to get the new Spanish edition, which is essentially the full color special edition that recently came out in Japan. Man, seeing these singles, they're just so awesome. The spines are great and the covers are absolutely wonderful. Evangelion, another nostalgic series for me. But yeah, I'm definitely going to pick up the Spanish special edition uh, next month. So if you're interested in seeing that, definitely stay tuned for next month. Probably the most exciting find for me of July is X volume one, because I swear I've been not necessarily super actively hunting this down, but you know, but I've been definitely hoping to run into it for a long time. It is definitely one of the harder volumes to find in the set of omnibuses. And every time I go to book off, it's always the same retail ones that are available like everywhere. So I had to do like a double take when I saw this. I was just like, oh, that's that's the first fucking volume. And uh, yeah, I'm super happy about that. Super excited. Once again, another nostalgic series, except with this, I love it because it's kind of this vibe and uh, genre or setting, I guess you could say, that I just love about the 90s, which is kind of like dark, supernatural, cyberpunk type of setting. And it's just a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, I had never read the manga before, so I was excited to get into it. And dude, the art is so, so good. And this edition is fucking incredible. The paper is amazing it's bound well so you don't have to worry about any type of spine cracks and stuff like that it is freaking awesome and i had a blast reading through this i mean there's so much good action spreads and the art is just amazing i cannot wait to get more anyways crazy crazy find so another insane find for me is one that i have been looking for as well for a very long time and it is the third volume of the vampire hunter d manga so this volume is actually the little arc that bloodlust is based off of the movie so i'm assuming that's probably why this is kind of like highly sought after i guess i'm not sure but this can be pretty expensive in the aftermarket it was just sitting there it was just chilling there i i, I really couldn't believe it super super excited but yeah once again you guys were probably tired of hearing me talk about Vampire Hunter D, but um, I definitely recommend reading the light novel if you're going to get into this. Watch the movie, read the light novel, and let this be the last thing that you kind of get into because it's honestly, yeah, it's just not it's just not as good. Then moving along here, I got a couple of volumes of Sayonara Zetsuo Sensei. I already had volume five. I'm just terrible at keeping track. I'm too lazy to update my Wakum. This is something that I'm slowly collecting. I love the anime back in the day. Just not enough, I think, to really put it super high on my priority list. But yeah, if you want a volume five of it, if you need it, let me know because I have an extra one apparently now. Hilarious, hilarious anime, by the way. I highly recommend watching it. Then we got some 
pulp pickups. Some missing volumes of Dance Till Tomorrow, which, you know, is kind of whatever, to be honest with you. I don't really care about that right now. Uh, but most of all, we got some Hideo Yamamoto, who as of lately have just been really falling in love with. I read Homunculus and Ichi the Killer back to back, and I just blew through those manga. They're so awesome. I I really love this mangaka. It's hard to say which one I like more, but I think definitely Homunculus. Nevertheless, once I got into him, you know, I was kind of looking into him and found out that he had some series published in English. I believe it's incomplete, though. It's like actually supposed to be like eight volumes or whatever. But yeah, I scored these for very cheap under retail, which is awesome. I will say, though, these are kind of the easier ones to find and probably a little bit easier to find a good deal on. But nevertheless, I am missing a couple more volumes. Hideo Yamamoto. Love, 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 love him. I am currently dying, though, because Homunculus is out of print in Spain. I don't know if it was ever, I'm assuming it was published in France, uh, but it's kind of hard to find. It's only available in Italian retail at the moment. And uh, Ichi the Killer is mostly out of print in Spanish and hella out of print in France. And they're just so expensive to find right now at the moment. But if you have Ichi the Killer published by ECC ed uh, Ediciones from Spain, one through 10, please let me know what you offer it. I will buy it because I really, really want that edition. Anyways, highly recommend Homunculus. Highly recommend Ichi the Killer. They're definitely not for everyone, but definitely worth exploring in my opinion. But yeah, those are my pulp pickups. Oh, and uh, shouts out to Hanime God once again, coming through with awesome, awesome finds and awesome deals, dude. Thank you again, brother. Really, really appreciate that. Almost completely forgot. I got Cyborg 009 Volume 4, which I was missing. Now I have one through four. Awesome, awesome find in very nice condition, by the way. This thing is very, very nice. And Katakano Volume 12, which is, this is, I'm just already accepting the fact that this is just gonna take forever to finish collecting because I did a haul recently with like four or five volumes and they were just, they all came terrible. They were all ex library. I was like, what the freaking hell? Um, anyways, uh, yeah, I'm struggling right now with Katakano. And that is pretty much it for the out of print manga. Man, now we're gonna get into the good stuff. French and Spanish manga, baby, yes. Okay, so to get started on the foreign manga section, let us start off with Katakuri Circus, which has just been such an amazing read and such an amazing recent publication by Mayan of France. Without getting too into it, because I can go on forever, Fujita, Kazuhiro Fujita is one of the best shonen action shonen mangakas of all time in my opinion and i had never read katakuri circus and i was kind of like you know on the fence didn't know if it was going to be that good and it's just been awesome everybody in france so far has been really enjoying it it's been extremely well received it's very surprising it's in this awesome edition as well as you can see just look at that this thing is absolutely amazing I mean, Mayan is my number two best publisher of all time with Milky Way being number one, but um, they're slowly starting to become number one, I think, because next month or actually this month, uh, they're coming out with Baki volumes one through four omnibuses, which are in, in an edition such as this, which is going to be incredible. I can't wait to get those. But yeah, Katakuri Circus, it is such a fun read, honestly. Like, it's kind of like JoJo, except the stands are marionettes and they are marionette users. It's definitely its own thing. There's a lot of comedy in it. The protagonist is fucking hilarious. He basically has this weird condition where he has to make people laugh every now and then. Otherwise, he chokes to death. Yeah, lots of awesome action in this. Definitely check out The Ghost and the Lady published by Kadansha. That's pretty much the only Fujita series that we have here in English. Volume 2 is a little bit hard to find, but nonetheless, just go get the first volume. Katakuri Circus, cannot wait. Hopefully, we can get Ushio no Toa soon because that one would be fucking awesome to get. Then I got Volume 3 of Ultra Heaven. I did talk about this mangaka Keichi Kuike last month with Heaven's Door. And this is the manga that I am dying to get in English. The English publisher, Last Gasp, who published Heaven's Door, said that they are strongly considering publishing it, depending on the sales for Heaven's Door. And let me just tell you, without going too into this, this is my number one manga. Anybody that's in my server or follows me on Twitter knows that I'm obsessed with this and I'm making a video on it with like crazy edits and stuff because I just love it that much. They do have it in French, but only the third volume is available retail. But man, just getting this alone. Oh, this thing is such nice quality, dude. The paper is really, really nice. Very, very smooth. The volume is is heavy. And I mean, Keiji Koike, I can go on about him forever. And I do often on 
<laughs> on the server so i'm gonna spare you guys that uh torment but yeah i love this man with all my heart and ultra heaven is unequivocally my number one manga of all time it is just fantastic for me personally by the way i mean i don't think this is like everybody's number one super super awesome all right let's let's move on to some more peak fiction here we got ascension aka the climber Kokonohito. i got volumes 7 through 11. another fantastic fantastic series i had a self print for a while but since i've learned french i was like i'm gonna sell it get this in uh french reading this in person is freaking fantastic the artwork is incredible shinichi sakamoto is a genius 100 percent and it's just incredible to know that he did this all with a G pen. This was before he started doing digital stuff, which is insane. I always thought that this was digital as well because it's so, so clean. An incredible, incredible manga. Definitely recommend it. Go read the scans. Don't wait for physicals for this. To be honest with you, it's not worth it. This is a great, great series. Okay, let's talk about... <laughs> I mean, I bought a ton of stuff that I just absolutely love in this haul. And this one is by a mangaka by the name of Junichi Nojo, who I have featured in this channel before when I bought some Japanese volumes of Naki no Ryu, which is a Mahjong manga by Nojo. And this one is about pool. I didn't even know this existed until I was browsing Nojo in French to see what they had. And I was just like, oh, this is fucking awesome. Every time I read Nojo, it's like I'm watching a movie in manga form. It's it's great. But yeah, let me show you guys some of the artwork here. Yeah, Nojo is stands out for his art style, which is very realistic. But yeah, the artwork is fantastic. And the story is very, very interesting. I have been enjoying it so far. Currently on volume five. But yeah, the last volume is super expensive. People are asking like 60 bucks for it, at least from what I can find since this is out of print in France. And <laughs> I'm not willing to pay 60 bucks at the moment. Hopefully I can find a good deal on it soon so I can complete the set. Yeah, J-Boy is awesome. It's got some awesome back covers on the volumes, by the way, which is super, super cool. I love that. Speaking of out of print and expensive French manga, we got The World is Mine and good God, I paid like $20 a piece for these and it's only going to get more expensive for me from now on. The World is Mine is such an incredible manga that I read as of recently and there's just really nothing like it. It's kind of a controversial manga in a sense. I don't know. Just people find it very off-putting because of the violence in it. I will be honest that when I first attempted to pick this up sometime last year, I ended up putting it on hold because I had that experience where I just found it very off-putting and I thought it was like trying to be edgy and stuff. But when you read it, you slowly realize what a great piece of of, of, of work it is. It, it, it is such a unique experience. I definitely recommend going to go read it. The World is Mine. This got into my top five manga. Then I got Peleliu volumes one through two. This was a manga that has been recommended in the French manga community. I definitely see why now. I really, really enjoyed these first couple of volumes here. And you know, it's a war manga set in the island of Peleliu. I'm not, I forget what year, but it's essentially the US versus Japan. And as you can see, they are chibi characters, and that makes it such a unique experience reading a war series like that. And yeah, this is this is really, really great. If you're into war stuff, definitely check out Peleliu. Then we got some absolute peak fiction here with Golden Boy. I absolutely love the anime. When I found out that this was out in French, I was like, oh, I gotta pick this up. You know, people have told me it's not as good as the anime, but reading it, I'm like, dude, this is just Golden Boy, but in manga form. It's, you know, a little bit in different order, but it's it's Golden Boy. I don't know what the hell people are complaining about. Fortunately, it wasn't finished publishing, and this is like a really old edition. I don't even know who this publisher is, and it's published from left to right, but nonetheless, I fucking love Golden Boy, man. I have so many awesome memories watching this with my friends back in the day. Dude, we were just like laughing our asses off. It's it's so awesome. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy to get this. Hopefully I can find more volumes, but it's going to be tough for me living in the States here. Then I got some more lovely complex from Panini Mexico that my buddy, Hobbies of a Man, helped me pick up. I got six through nine here. So I now have one through nine. 
which I am very, very happy about because in English, it's kind of a nightmare to collect. I think the English versions are a little bit better, but personally, I do like these little small compact versions and you know, they're not expensive whatsoever. It's, it's a lot of fun reading in such a you know small tome in my opinion i love to read this in bed and stuff it's, it's great i mean honestly if you're a dude i say this all the time but it's a great romance even if you're a dude i definitely recommend it okay now let's get into my pickups for tsutomo takahashi one of my favorite mangakas these two are in french which is the recent release of blue heaven and the recent volume two that dropped for black box and these two right here are the final volumes for Reverberación aka Zankyo and here we have three through six with the final volume being six for Noin and these two I have just been <laughs> putting them on hold since like last year I just never finished it. Reverberación is probably my favorite one out of all of these. It took me by surprise in a lot of ways. Noin such a unique experience and I, I, I really really enjoyed it. The ending you know I can see some people maybe not liking it but I love the ending honestly and Noin for some reason just gives me that feeling that I just want to reread it for whatever reason. Really really enjoyed Noin. Blue Heaven probably the weakest one here but you know it's only one volume and um, it, might, it might get better. And Black Box you know I was kind of skeptical at first on the first volume but the second volume really brought in the heat there are a lot of high moments in this and gave me a lot of hope for black box so i cannot wait to get volume three once again if you guys saw my last manga haul this is like a really dope edition it's like this really cool cardboard or whatever but yeah slowly building up my Sutomo takahashi collection definitely need to get bakwan reto in french it's a lot of volumes and i've already read it but it's easily my favorite by Sutomo takahashi so once i get that i'll, I'll be on a good role to kind of having a complete set of Tsutomu Takahashi but definitely definitely recommend Reverberación and knowing if you speak Spanish if you speak French definitely pick up Black Box it is awesome. Noin and uh, Zankyo are in French as well I think Zankyo is kind of like in these giant omnibus editions or whatever I don't even know which is really really cool but I do love this specific edition by Norma it is awesome and last but not least is a japanese volume of shion which is probably like the third month in a row that this series has been featured on this channel but um i had to get this specific edition because look at it it's so fucking cool bam look at that this is a little bit difficult to find but i managed to find a site that lists a lot of like Japanese out of print stuff for pretty cheap yeah it's really really dope i got this specifically for the design the cover design which is just phenomenal look at that like the color scheme and everything about it is super super dope but yeah that is the last of this haul i could have gone into a lot more detail for each pickup to be honest with you there was a lot to get through so just wanted to not waste your guys' time too much and show you the goodies nevertheless this was my manga haul for july so as far as channel updates go i've been, I've been trying to find work-life balance at the moment but i should be having a shopping vlog for sure very soon because my barnes and noble recently just they completely upgraded it it's actually fucking insane so i think everyone's gonna really love to see it it's really really dope but other than that i appreciate you guys watching this and i appreciate you guys sticking through the foreign stuff i know a lot of people don't really care about that it, it is a lot of fun to share and talk about some of the stuff because a lot of it is really really fun definitely let me know what you guys thought was interesting out of these let me know in the comments and again, thanks again for watching. I will see you guys next time. Peace.